Alright, so I'm home alone. Actually, my fiance is waiting on a train, and then, you know, she'll be home in like 30 seconds if as long as the train leaves. But I've been home for about three hours, four hours by myself, and I just got done working out a little bit. And while I was working out, I started hearing like. It almost sounded like somebody was calling my name. And at first, I actually thought my fiance was home. And she wasn't, because it, it was a female's voice. So, um, I'm going to try something. This is the first time I'm trying this. The Necrophonic app. And I actually have it hooked up to a little speaker, so we're going to see what, if anything happens. <clears throat> Is there a female here that called my name a little bit ago? What is your name? Mm -hmm. Did I say Brittany? Uh, I just heard like something uh, exhale behind me. What is your name? And why are you here? to do me harm. That's the only problem about these apps. I, have, I, I can't understand a damn thing they're saying. Like, I cannot understand, like, uh, ghost apps or uh, uh, like spirit boxes. I'm going to turn the reverb on. Or no, I'm going to turn white noise on because you can do that on this. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit freaky. Um, that kind of scared me. I'm going to stop it right there for a second. Actually, my fiance's home. Uh, it sounded like it said boa, like boa constrictor as a snake. My nickname, whenever I was, you know, since I was a baby from, you know, my family is boa. Now the story behind that, when I was younger, I had a hearing problem and every time they would say, well, what's your name, Joe? And I would say boa for some reason and it just stuck. So, <clears throat> that just, it sounded like I said my nickname. That kind of freaked me out. But my fiance sounds, so I'm going to stop this for right now. So, I'm going to post this. And I, I may actually mess with this here in a little bit. So, I'll see you guys later.